Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Disco Kitty the Crappy Crafter. Today we're going to see what happens when we put clear glue in resin because I have heard that putting just a little tiny bit of clear glue in resin means that glitters won't fall to the bottom. Now I wanted to make this a fair comparison across a whole bunch of glitters so I have this mold it was from like board game night from Sophie and Toffee or something like that but we're not gonna use this side we're gonna use this side I'm gonna prep it I'm actually I'm actually gonna use some of this in order to be able to you know get the stuff out because it is textured these aren't gonna be smooth but we don't care what they look like we only care about the results I wanted a mold that was deep enough so that we could really see where the glitter was once it settles I wanted one big thing so that I didn't have to worry about it it has 14 or 16 cavities and I think I've pulled out seven glitters seven or eight depending you know and uh, so we'll do you know like a row of glued and a row of knot and then a row of glued and a row of knot so we can really really compare them they're all going to be made from the same resin mixture so uh yeah let's just get right into it all right so the first thing we're gonna do is prep it with a mixture that's half and half dawn dish soap and um i don't remember what kind of alcohol i used it might have been 70 percent but I try to use 99% because I want as little water in this as possible. It probably didn't really need the prepping, but uh, you know, it's, it's, we did, we did. I also prepped this mold. I'm not entirely sure why I'm showing myself drying it out, but I prepped that mold for something completely different. Uh, but it, it shows the process of me drying out all the corners because we don't want to leave any water and or soap in there. Like I said, I, it's an alcohol soap mixture. These are the glitters that I'm going to be using. This one is super fine and then there was kind of a, a slightly heavier fine and then there was a bigger chunky and then this is a mixed chunky so it's got super fine and kind of chunky and this i know it's halloween but it was it, it was the chunkiest of the the glitter type things that i have these are little bits of metal and then of course my microbeads because i i gotta use my my microbeads and everything oh right and pigment powder i'm gonna use pigment powder because there are 16 things so i can do eight pair so i had to figure out what i was gonna do so what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix up a whole bunch of resin and I I know I, t I technically did this wrong I technically did it wrong what I'm gonna do is I'm going to mix up two different batches of resin that was planned because you know it's a lot of resin and in the first batch I was gonna split it so that it was the same resin in both but just I put the tiniest bit of I actually I probably put too much glue in because look at that Oh, it's snot. It looks like snot. It pours like snot. It is snot. It's like really liquidy slime. Look at that. It's snot. Snot. I'm gonna say it again. Snot. Snot. It's so gross. It, is. it was so nasty. I wanted to put my hands in it. I didn't, but I really, really wanted to really really wanted to so I mean this this kind of works for some stuff kind of not for others I mean I didn't really expect it to work for the anything metal or anything glass which is what the microbeads are made out of but ooh, I'm waiting till you see what it does with the microbeads oh just look at that snot 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 bleh 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 snot I'm sorry I will stop saying snot all right so that's the bigger of the holographic glitters and then I have the smaller of the holographic glitters They're vastly different sizes there's there's a couple sizes in between those two sizes Ugh, just this 
And this is the combo stuff. Just, this stuff was just, just, yeah, that was really hard to get off the end. Just this blub, blop, blop, bleh. So that's some really, really, really fine mylar glitter. I don't know what the holographic glitter is. I don't know if it's mylar or something. I don't know. So here we are mixing up the second batch. And if I didn't say it earlier, scrape the sides and the bottom. Scrape, 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 scrape. Three minutes minimum. I did not degas this. I did not put it in a pressure pot. Well, it wouldn't have fit in my pressure pot anyways. Uh, so there will be bubbles and stuff. One of the things that we wanted to see was how well was this going to capture bubbles because it it's supposed to keep glitter from moving, so why would it keep bubbles from moving? Why wouldn't it keep bubbles from moving is what I meant to say. But yeah, so I mean, I've come to the determination that this resin isn't quite as degassing as I like it to be, as I want it to be, as I hoped it would be, because it, it, I always come across some micro bubbles. I do. Lots and lots and lots of micro bubbles. But uh, yeah, the, the glue, the glue captures big bubbles. So here we are. A day later, I did not cook it. I just let it rest. This could be two days later, but I think it's just one. I'm going to show them in pairs. See, now it, it kind of worked. It worked a little bit. It did. The one on the right is the one that has the glue. The one on the right will always be the one that has the glue. It, 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 it technically works. It makes it look like it's a little cloudier, but I think that's the bubbles. Look at what the glue did to that, though. It pulled the coloring right off of the microbeads. Ah, uh, whatever, though, right? And the chunkier glitter, it, I mean, it kind of works. It really does. I, do I need to put more glue in? Because that would be gross. But you can definitely tell there on the bottom that they don't, they aren't the same. Just like this. Not as much sank to the bottom. Although the color does not shine through as well because I think the glue makes it a little bit cloudy as well. And it, it's, it's a little bit cloudy. The glue is supposed to be clear. But I think it still made it cloudy. And look, you can see that spike in the middle that I was messing with earlier. Ugh. So it, it kind of works. It technically works. But I don't, I don't know if I'm going to do that again. We'll see what happens. We'll see. I don't know. I mean, the super, super, super fine mylar stuff isn't going to sink as bad. But you can tell there that it did not sink as bad because there isn't as much of a layer on that face and that's really the only way that you can tell and it did keep the resin from convecting so you don't get the flow lines yeah see it's it convected on that so you get flow lines but you didn't get that with the other one so well that did a thing and uh, let's go through them pair by pair so here's the first pair. <laughs> These uh, cavities ended up not being all the same size, so I apologize for that in advance. Anyways, so here's the first pair. So the one that's on this side, that's the one that had the glue, and this is the one that did not have the glue, and you can see that, you know, it, it kind of helped. It did kind of help kind of helped. But what it did do was it captured a lot more of the, uh, the micro bubbles. It caught a lot more micro bubbles. Let's see if I can... Oh. There's that. And... And then that one. So don't get me wrong, there are still bubbles in this, there are micro bubbles in it, but there are a lot more in the one with the glue. So the glue captures bubbles, go figure, because it literally just turned it into slime. It was slime consistency. It was, whew, it was, it was slimy. It really, really was. So the next pair, 
they did a weird thing. This, this, this did a weird thing. So here's the next pair. I know, right? And what's going on here, right? It's all cloudy and gross. What, what did the glue do to my micro beads? I think the glue pulled some of the colorant off of the micro beads, which is interesting because the resin didn't. But they all fell. They did fall. And they just, they don't look as nice. You can tell. Don't use glue with micro beads because it won't help and it will make your piece ugly. So, no glue with micro beads. All right. Some little metal embellishments. Obviously didn't work. Do it this way. So this side is the side with the glue. This side is the side that does not. And as you can see, it captured all those little micro bubbles. And it didn't help at all. So, little metal embellishments, go figure. Glue does not help. All right, so we're getting into slightly chunky glitter. <clears throat> this isn't a very, very chunky glitter, but it's the chunky glitter that I have. So, we'll do this. As you can see, like 90% of the glitter has fallen in the one without the glue. Yeah. It's all on the bottom. And there are still a bunch of bubbles, but that's okay. And then this is the one that has the glue. They're not all on the bottom, which is awesome. So that's pretty cool. So <clears throat> it mostly works. It mostly works. I mean, they still fell a little bit. I mean, look at that. The, there's like, the, there, there, there are a couple on top that are sitting on top. I can actually feel them. Um, and there are some in the mix, but some of them, they, they, the, the majority of them still fell a little bit. So it's not perfect, but it, it does work. It does work. Uh, let's see. So this one is a, it was a combination. It had some chunky, it had some micro, it had some all, dif all different sizes. And it even had some heart-shaped ones and stuff. So again, oops, let's do it this way. This is the side that has the glue. This is the side that does not. And you can see that it did technically work. Let me get something white so you can see it. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go, there we go. It does, it does kind of work, kind of work. <clears throat> but again, it captured a lot more bubbles. That's just gonna be the theme. And with this one, if you look really close, let's see how close we can get it. Do you, do you see that spike in the middle? I don't know if you remember when I was trying to mix the glue or mix the glitter into the glued resin it <clears throat> a whole bunch of the glitter had like bound with the glue I'm assuming and pulled the glue out of the resin potentially I, I I'm not entirely sure I don't know what was happening all I know is that it was snot it looked like snot and it, it played like it's not it was just gross <laughs> anyways but if you look close I don't know if you can really see it and it's too bad that you can't really see it but there's a spike in the middle of this one where all the glitter not all the glitter obviously but where a significant chunk of glitter had like bound with itself and wouldn't come off the little skewer that I was trying to mix it up with and uh, it, it just it just lumped in the center and obviously it didn't move at all so there's still this this glitter spike in the middle I don't know 
And uh, yeah, so that, that was the result of, of the glue. Uh, let's see, what's next? Next, we have some fine glitter. And let's see, this is the one that has the glue. This is the one that does not have the glue. And you can see a little bit, let me get <clears throat> my white thing. You can see a little bit that this one over here did sink just a smidgen and nothing sank on the other side. Well, that's not true. There's a little sinkage. There's a little bit on the bottom, but as you can see, it's not it's not as it's not as much. Let's see if I can do this. It's been a long day. All right, you, there. Yes, you can see that there's more glitter on the bottom, but you can also see that there's there's more glitter floating in this one. So with this glitter, this was I don't know if you would call this a micro glitter or not. What would you call that? What would you call that? I don't think it's a micro glitter, but it's definitely a tiny glitter. Uh, this, on the other hand, this, this is what I would call a micro glitter. This is a super, super fine glitter. Uh, it's also a holographic glitter. And <clears throat> you can see with this one as well that it did not, didn't sink as bad. You know, regardless. And you can see, <clears throat> you can just barely see the glitters because they are super fine. But you can see on this one over here, there are a bunch lying on the bottom. And on this one over here, it's not quite so bad. So again, it does work. It, it works with the micro glitters, it works with the small glitters, it kind of works with the bigger glitters. And what it does with the mica powders is <clears throat> it keeps the resin from convecting, I assume. I don't know this for sure. But I assume it kept the, the, oops, kept the resin from convecting because with the mica powders, what it did was it kept it solid as opposed to the, 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 the convection lines that you get as the resin, you know, does this thing or this thing or whatever it does, because that's what we got right here. So yeah, so it, it technically works. I, um, it, it doesn't work on a lot of the stuff that I have, but it does work on some of the stuff that I have. So I don't know if I'm going to keep using this in the future, or maybe I'll just turn what's left in here into slime and play with it on a short or something. If you want me to do that, I actually have some of that um, <clears throat> Elmer's Miracle Slime liquid left over from when I played with that slime kit that I bought from my work. What was that, like a year or two ago? I still have some of that liquid left over, so I can turn this into a ball of slime if you would like, and I can add glitters and things to that. Um, but I think this experiment is done, and I'm going to say that it's a... Let's see, that was a success, and that was a success, and that was a partial success, and that was obvious, and that was obvious, and that was obvious, and those two did not work at all. Uh, so, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I did eight things, and I say that uh, five of them are true successes. One is a partial success, and two are, meh, not success at all. So, yeah, five out of eight's not bad. But, yeah, so that's it for this week. And we'll play with more stuff next week. So, until then, stay safe. Oh, oh. Today we have a little Abbycat. A little Abbycat. Sniff the camera, little Abbycat. No, she says no. She wants to go play with her brother. Well, if I bring him in here, will you stay? That was Abby.